every day running up her health care. She don't like her welfare. She living in hell here. Bad and she bougie. She belongs in belt. She, she do not sit belt now. She do not wear rock now. All right, all right, all right. So this video has been heavily recommended in the comments. Tom Segura, bikes, 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 right? So seen my fair share of comments about this and I need to react to it. Hey, real quick though, if you've seen my face for the first time, welcome to the channel, make sure you subscribe. This channel is all about providing the daily dose of edutainment. That means that every single video that you watch, you will both be entertained and educated because I'm an entertainer and an educator, all right? So that's why I call it edutainment. Education, entertainment, you get me? So that's what you're gonna get when and if you decide to subscribe. Maybe you like me enough, like my personality enough. I don't know, it's up to you, all right? <laughs> but if you're a tennis subscriber, you know, I appreciate you for watching my videos. I don't take your view, your comment, your like, or even dislike for granted at all. It's much appreciated and I am grateful, okay? Thank you. <laughs> so we got Tom Segura, Bikes. If you want more videos in my comedy hour, comedy specials playlist, check it out right here in the pin cards or in the pin comment and pin post of this video. Ugh. Let's get it popping. Oh, and this is like an audio, so there's no like video of it. So let's we'll see how much, how well the audio does without no video. Bikes! I get like <laughs> verbal tics, you know? I don't have Tourette's. I wish I did. It looks fun. But I'll just yell shit out. It's like a hook on a catchy song, except it's just stuff that I watch. And then, Bikes! I just yell it, you know? Over and over. Only like two or three million times. But I'm obsessed with the show Scared Straight. Um, if you've never seen it, it's tremendous. Here's what they do. In the show, they take kids, middle school and high school kids that are getting in trouble a lot, and they send them to jail for a day. And the idea is that jail will scare the fuck out of the kid, and then he'll get his life together, hence, scared straight. It's tremendous. I'm obsessed with one episode. It aired once. <laughs> in 1999. Here's what's great. It aired uncensored, which is bananas <laughs> and in this episode they did not send the kids to jail like they normally do instead they sent them to a maximum security penitentiary prison and those prisoners verbally assaulted these kids into crying a lot <laughs> and it's the funniest shit I have ever seen in my life First of all, don't feel like too bad for the, these kids are super badass. They're not like spitting spitballs in class and say, they're fucking stabbing other kids. They're badass kids, okay? And they show up to this thing with attitude. Like they walk in, they're like, what's up? I just ain't shit, I run sixth grade. I ain't scared of you, man. Like, you can't scare me. And they're greeted by a guy named Crazy Chris. Chris has scars on his face and it's the screen freezes and it says, Chris killed six people and he's doing a double life sentence. Like this dude is so bad that when he dies and he's reincarnated, that guy's doing life in prison. <laughs> so, this is a bad motherfucker right here. The kids are like squatting around and Chris is like, hey, my name's Crazy Chris. And from now on, you will see me in your nightmares. And the kids are like, what the fuck? Like, I'm 12, don't talk to me like that, man, that's crazy. And then he goes, if I ever see you again, I'll take a bite out of each of you. And they're like, all right, we're all reformed now, thank you very much. So. <laughs> Jesus, but they can't leave. The next guy comes up to him and he goes, uh, hold my pocket, hold my pocket. And he makes kids walk around holding the inside of his pocket, you understand? So he walks and then they're like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you know about prison, but if you're holding on to another dude's pocket, it's gonna be a rough day, all right? 
Not only is this guy making kids hold us, but he's talking ridiculous shit to middle schoolers. He's like, I'm gonna make you suck my dick for breakfast. Every morning. And the kid's like, Ugh. I hate breakfast. Ugh. <laughs> Funny shit like that. So, <laughs> It's so, he's like, I'm gonna mush your motherfucking face. And the kid's like, it's so, it's so fucking funny. Uh, <laughs> there's one exchange where this dude, he pulls a kid out of line. The kid's like 13. He weighs, I don't know, 100 pounds. And he has a bowl cut, okay? He has a bowl cut <laughs> in prison. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's parted in the middle. <laughs> And the prisoner goes, why are you here? And the kid's like, Ugh. stealing? And he goes, the fuck you took? <laughs> and the kid goes, bikes? And he goes, bikes! <laughs> and that's why I yell bikes all the time. You should see me when we drive by a bike store. Holy shit. <laughs> I'll be driving, I'll be like, ha. Oh. And my wife, she's pretty over it. Um, <laughs> she'll go like, you get one. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna make this shit count. So I'll pull over, I roll down the window, and I wait until I see somebody checking out one of the sidewalk displays, like with all the bikes out there. And when they find one they really like, and they're like, oh, I like this one, I'll go, bye! And they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'll go, stop selling drugs. And then I drive up. <laughs> Super fun. You should do it. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, that's actually funny, bro. That's actually mad funny. Bikes. Let me, let me try it. 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 Hold on. Bikes. Bikes, 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 bikes. Hmm. I can get used to this. Bikes. Bikes, bikes. Hmm. Like a hook. Okay, I can. I can. Bikes, bikes. But nah, bro. Stay out of trouble. Stay out of like jails. Stay out of all that stuff. I think. The thing, main thing to keep in mind is always, if it looks fishy, or if the situation where you could be put out, put in the wrong position, leave it. Trust your gut always. Always trust your gut. Always trust your gut. Think about it. I say, I say for as an example, right? You're a guy. I say, I say, for, I say for example, you're a married man, alone, in a room with a woman question is and let's say for whatever reason she say you raped her whatever right as you or she said that you guys had sex or whatever and she tried to like blackmail you whatever it is right the question is why were you in the room by yourself with just that woman you always need an eyewitness let's say you're driving a, a, a girl home you guys aren't really like friendly like that Always ensure, always ensure there's another eyewitness, bro. Always ensure there's another eyewitness that can vouch for you in some way or another. Don't put yourself in situations where it could look fishy. I think that's what, I think that's what I'm trying to say. Don't put yourself in situations where it could look fishy or where you could be in the wrong. Always take precautions. Always take precautions. And another example I would say, a bit more practical. If you're, if the girl you're talking to or dating I'm, not, I'm sure I'm not, I'm, I know I'm giving more, more so like guy to girl examples, but I can't think of, I can't think of anything else. But guys can be manipul girls can be put in bad situations as well, right? If you're drink, if the girl you're dating or you're talking to is drinking, that's a no-go zone. I don't care how like into it she is. If she's been overly intoxicated, I think not even overly intoxicated, but like to the point where she's not like completely conscious of what she's doing <laughs> that's a no-go zone bro no-go zone because 
you don't want to put yourself there. That's what I'm saying. You don't want to put yourself in that situation. If you if it's been light 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 alcohol here and there, I guess it's it's fine. But like if you see that she can't really like she's not really all the way into like for me personally, if a girl's not all the way into it, that's it. I'm leaving the house, I'm going you can stay in the room, I'm going somewhere else. If you're not all the way into it, nothing's happening. Okay? <laughs> I'm taking no chances, zero chances with any bad situation that could possibly be, look bad on me, right? So um, I'm just saying, always take responsibility for your own. I think yourself, does this look fishy? Would I be put in the wrong if, no matter how much truth I was saying, would, would, I, would, I, would I look wrong? Would I look like, a, would I look suspicious or be a suspect? If it's anywhere possibly the case, leave. Trust your gut always, okay? <laughs> All right, man, God bless, much love, peace and joy, namaste. If you're new to the channel, I'm gonna teach you the motto. If you're a return subscriber, see the motto with me. If it doesn't feed you, then don't water it. If it doesn't feed you mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, mentally, whatever, all the above, don't water that shit. And always keep that same energy, bro. Keep it 1,000, be authentic. Don't show others fake love. If you doubted them, if you didn't support them, don't try all of a sudden when they're having success, you try and support them. Nah, 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 nah. God believe in people. If you generally believe in them, believe in them from the jump and support them there. And others who are around you, who overlooked you, who doubted you, who slept on you, but now they want to show love, well, now they want to support you when you start having some success, you got to tell them, keep that same energy, bro. Keep that same energy. If you want to copy or keep that same energy, merchandise or apparel or gear is right here. I would appreciate it. I appreciate the support. Uh, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> Deuces. The doctors every day running up her health care. She don't like her welfare. She living in a